I am a professor Marian Shaksovaran, the co-author of a manual eye diseases, written together with Professor Roger Rohanesyan. I hope you have managed to read our manual written in English, Russian, or Armenian languages. Let's invite you to make a short journey into anatomy of the eye and also to imagine the process of vision. Eyelids, the outer structures that protect the eyeball and lubricate the ocular surface. Within each lid is a tarsal plate containing meibomian glands. The lids join at the medial and lateral canthi. The space between the two open lids is called the palpable fissure. Cornea. The transparent front window of the eye that serves as the major refractive surface. Sclera. The thick outer coat of the eye, normally white and opaque. Limbus. The junction between the cornea and sclera. Conjunctiva. The thin vascular mucous membrane covering the inner aspect of the eyelids. Palpable conjunctiva and sclera. Bulba conjunctiva. Anterior chamber. The space that lies between the cornea anteriorly and the iris posteriorly. The chamber contains a watery fluid called aqueous humor. Iris. The colored part of the eye that screens out light, primarily via the pigment epithelium which lines its posterior surface. Pupil. The circular opening in the center of the iris that adjusts the amount of light entering the eye. Its size is determined by the parasympathetic and sympathetic innervation of the iris. Ciliary body. The structure that produces aqueous humor. Contraction of the ciliary muscle changes tension on the zonular fibers that suspend the lenses and allow the eye to focus from distant to near objects, accommodation. Lens. The transparent biconvex body suspended by the zonules behind the pupil and iris, part of the refracting mechanism of the eye. Posterior chamber. The small space filled with aqueous humor behind the iris and in front of the anterior lens capsule. Vitreous cavity. The relatively large space, 4.5 cc, behind the lens that extends to the retina. The cavity is filled with a transparent jelly-like material called vitreous humor. Retina. The neural tissue lining the vitreous cavity posteriorly. Essentially transparent, except for the blood vessels on its inner surface, the retina sends the initial visual signals to the brain via the optic nerve. The retina, macular choroid, and optic disc are sometimes referred to as the retinal fundus or simply fundus. Optic disc, the portion of the optic nerve visible within the eye. It is composed of axons whose cell bodies are located in the ganglion cell layer of the retina. Macula. The area of the retina at the posterior pole of the eye responsible for fine central vision. The oval depression on the center of the macula is called the fovea. Choroid. The vascular pigmented tissue layer between the sclera and the retina. The choroid provides the blood supply for the outer retinal layers. Extraocular muscles. The six muscles that move the globe Medially, medial rectus, laterally, lateral rectus, upward, superior rectus and inferior oblique, downward, inferior rectus and superior oblique, and torsonally, superior and inferior obliques. These muscles are supplied by three cranial nerves. Cranial nerve four, which innervates the superior oblique. Cranial nerve six, which innervates the lateral rectus, and cranial nerve three, which controls the remainder of the extraocular muscles. When a person looks at an object, light rays are reflected from that object to the eye. As the rays pass through the optical system of the globe, or eyeball, 
They are bent to produce an upside down image of the object at the back of the inner eyeball. In the retina, the image is converted to electric impulses that are carried to the brain, where the image is translated so the object is perceived in its upright position. The light sensitive cells of the retina convert the image to electric impulses that are carried to the brain by the optic nerve. The electric impulses are integrated to the brain's visual cortex to produce the sensation of light. Types of refraction, emetropia, normal eye, myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism. The light rays focuses on the retina in emetropia. The light rays focuses in the front of the retina in myopia. The light rays focuses behind the retina in hyperopia. The cornea in normal eye is spheric, but in astigmatism it's oval shaped and looks like the back surface of this spoon. In astigmatism, the light rays are bending in front and behind the retina.